Is there anybody else on the planet that thinks the way I do? Hear me out on this one, okay? I, going through all these different, like, weird apocalypse scenarios and all those kinds of things, none of it scares me because zombie apocalypse is just so incredibly unlikely. The only likely scenario for a zombie apocalypse is the ones that we see in World War Z, 28 days and 28 weeks later. Got it pretty close to how it could be. These are rage zombies. These are zombies infected by something that we made. And the fact of the matter is, a rage zombie isn't even an undead zombie. That's a head dead scenario. So, I mean, it'll be over really friggin' quick. And all the other apocalypse stuff, freaking the giant Yosemite caldera, all of those things, that's over in an instant. That's kaboom and we're dead. Giant asteroid, kaboom and we're dead. Nuclear war, kaboom and we're dead. It doesn't, I'm not afraid of it. It, don't, it doesn't weigh on my mind. I know it's a terrifying thing to try to live through. I'm not saying I'm gonna park my lawn chair right where the bomb's gonna touch down and crack open a cold one. Even though if I had the opportunity and it was imminent death, that would be the funniest thing that you could do. What really concerns me, okay, and what I'm thankful for every single day is the fact that praying mantis aren't five feet tall. Ah! Let's talk about this for a minute. Could you imagine a world not like Starship Troopers, none of that shit, okay? Not talking about bugs that are the size of buses and cows and horse, no. I'm talking about man-sized insects with superhuman strength. How many of you wanna throw your phone across the room right now at the sheer thought of insects that were the same size as you, okay? Not bigger or anything like really weird, just the same size, okay? Do you imagine there are five foot tall praying mantis floating around right now? Going from your house to your car would be a completely different ordeal. I would be armed to the teeth. I would have every manner of weapon on me at all times. And forget about going anywhere. Forget about going anywhere, even in large groups. You don't see can freaking fly. They can fly. You don't believe me? Here's a praying mantis flying. Here's a praying mantis killing a mouse! <laughs> Look at the size difference! Look at it! Look at it! Praying mantis don't care! Hell, I can posit praying mantis wouldn't even have to be five or six feet tall. Praying mantis would have to be foot, foot and a half, maybe a little bit bigger than that. They'd run this country! They'd, run, they'd kill you. They would kill you. They would just pick you up by the ankle and slam you around Hulk and Loki style until you stop moving and they would eat you brain first. That's what I'm afraid of. That's what keeps me up at night. I don't worry about zombies. I worry about giant bugs. Seriously, if you ever thought about that, leave me a comment. I would love a meanderingly strange conversation about a dystopian future where our lives are controlled by giant insects. So I'm gonna call J.J. Abrams about that one. That's a good one. I think that would be, that's a good, that's kind of where Cloverfield was headed. All right, I'm gonna stop talking now, bye. <laughs>